Wow! <laughs> Did you know this question is this said spicy? Ooh, Lord! Can Your I, kids, Lord! <laughs> Can I read the question? Yes, you may. Are you happy with the intimacy we share? I'm proud that you chose to love me. I'm proud that you are my forever and that you chose me out of everybody else. Yolanda <laughs> from Yol's channel and I am married for two and a half years now to my best friend Luazi Jawe. We've known each other for just over 11 years. So let's go back to basics. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? Ooh, I was not supposed to be where I was but I was there anyway. <laughs> we met I think it was July during the time of the trick of the parties, I was doing my second year. You land uh, in high school, and that's something I didn't know. This stranger of a man found himself at an after party selling tickets to uh, grade 11s and grade 12s. Me, who was in grade 11, wasn't supposed to be there because it was a matric ball after party. But I was there with my friends and I was looking for a friend of mine. So I stepped outside the old biscuit mill in Cape Town. Being outside while waiting, so someone that kind of caught my attention and there was this fine chocolate man <laughs> and was just hoping that they would look my way i think he looked at me first i looked at him and at this point actually i was on this side of the road he was by the gate right i was on this side of the road so i was walking and he looked at me and i looked at him then it came to a point where we thought we saw our friend like on the other side of the road. So we had to cross the road, right? Which means we had to cross each other. Me, I stopped looking at him the minute we start, started crossing each other. I was just like, okay, let me just look away. And then, and then, this is where things properly happened. I was like, if I look back and this guy's looking back, there's a connection. She did look back again. I was like, okay, that's my opportunity. In Chamele and I'm in love. <laughs> and... Because like I say, the rest is history. <laughs> I was supposed to find my friend. I did not find my friend. I found my love and the love of my life, who is now my darling husband. After we met, he did try to kiss me. And I was like, nah, bruh, I told you. This is not the girl I am. Nah, I don't know who she is. But I may have kissed him that night. As much as people think or see what a beautiful person that she is, well, in front of the camera, that's the exactly the same person that you see in life. She is absolutely someone who's loving, definitely God-fearing. And for me, it's, it's all those, those qualities in her that, that sort of really attracted me to her and makes me choose her every day. I love that he is consistent in what he says he does. 
I love that he's true to who he is. I love that he's gentle, he's sensitive, and most importantly, he listens. Before he speaks, he listens. Before he advises, he listens. Before he prays, he listens. After he prays, he also listens. And I love that about him. I love that she loves me, she honors me, and I love love her every day when we were getting married now when you're getting married especially black families a lot is revealed and i think that's where we saw people's true colors there were a lot of arguments going around um and there was a specific situation that i wasn't actually supposed to even know uh the planning of my bridal shower was supposed to be a secret and that kind of thing so long story short somebody in his family attacked um my best friend who was planning the bridal shower um, he, my husband, gave the contacts to her, which was obviously my aunt's kids and stuff, his aunt's kids, and he stood up for me. He basically handled the situation so maturely, and what the biggest break breakthrough about it was the fact that his mom said, well done, my son, that's what I expect from you, even when I stand in the way of your relationship. He will stand for me and by my side, as he vowed on our wedding day, and that stands true even to this day. What would you say is your current prayer for her? Current prayer for her, oof. Success, in the sense that all her dreams that she has for herself may come true because she's someone who puts others' needs before hers. So more than anything, it's just for her to succeed in everything that she does and that she chooses to do and for me to always support him in those decisions. I pray that he raises his children the way he was raised, with so much respect and honor, and that, you know, he continues to be the man that I look up to and that I keep saying my son, uh, that I keep saying I hope my son becomes like, you know. I, I've never said this to any man, but I really, really hope my baby boy becomes like his father. Introduction to Solid! Give me a swag. Huh? No? Okay, I guess not. He's having squash. Something I could do to make you trust me even more. Wow, it's a deep question. Trust me even more. Yo, so you don't trust me enough? That's that's ultimately what it's kind of eluding. Yeah. To. I trust you fully. <laughs> Good. Let's get that clear. Um, jeez, I really don't know. Trust me, trust you even more. I don't think there's absolutely anything. Watching. No, there's nothing. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any great deals? Deal breakers. Deal breakers, sorry. Things that would make you seriously consider our relationship. Woo! Wow. <laughs> if you ever propose an open relationship, that would be a deal breaker. Only that. And. <laughs> If you came here saying, hey, hey, there's another child from someone else, definitely, deal breaker. Um, yeah, I think those are the two, like any type of infidelity or suggestions to, you know, hint that way. Yeah, definitely. Second wife, Nyana. Yeah, one is this child. <laughs> any polygamous <laughs> suggestions, Jay? No. Okay, cool. Mm. 
if we could recreate one day from our own relationship, what would it be? Hmm. That's a nice one. Yeah. Probably make the day that we met longer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's your turn. Yeah. I'm ready to pick again. <laughs> was it that good? It was a good answer. Okay. What things about me make you know I'm the one for you? Mm, everything, baby. <laughs> you still consistent in your love and in your gentleness so i think that still makes me yeah believe you the one and you you constantly thinking about me so that's mm-hmm. at least that's what you say <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i think that being consistent definitely makes me believe you are still the one thanks lovings it's my turn now eh? yeah what movie reminds you of us I'm laughing because I'm already thinking of one. Yeah, you're probably thinking of the exact one. Mm. It has to be August Rush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was thinking about. <laughs> yeah. What are the moments when you feel our souls connecting the most? Oh, jeez. You're getting all the deep ones. I think when we when we're having like quiet time together or when like there's no you know I love those moments when the TV is not playing yeah. when the music is not on and we Fizzy just sleeping. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just us and and we're just talking it just reminds me of back in the day you know um, when we were young. <laughs> Yeah, just connecting. That's I think that's when we connect the most because yeah. there's no sound, there's no disturbance, there's no social media, there's no one needing of anyone besides ourselves. And in that moment in time, that is our time, yeah. and and we are both the priority at that time. Like there's n- hopefully no phone call, there's nobody calling your name wow. or mine. And in that moment, I feel I feel our love is also the strongest because we. We connect, we smile, we laugh, and it's as genuine and as pure as it was from the yeah. get-go. So, yeah. Okay. Do you see our love lasting? Oh, these questions. <laughs> Why do you get all the easy ones? <laughs> as I said, you get the deep ones. Um, as I said, I mean, when we get when we committed to saying that we're getting married, mm. we committed to forever, mm. and that's what it is. So it is forever. <laughs> What is the one thing I do that turns you on the most? Getting spicy. Oh, you're getting really spicy! I'm glad I didn't have to answer that. I'd be sweating. You know, there's that one thing you do. That, that one thing. You know what it is. We both know what it is, right? The people want to know. <laughs> Close your ears, little children. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, I still, I still enjoy your little uh, kisses and bites behind my ear and neck and little whispers of sweet. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the one thing. That's not the one thing. I can't say the other (laughs) thing on the camera. It's all right. It's the kids here. I'm kidding. Family friendly (laughs) channel. But I, I do enjoy flirting with you still. Yeah. It still turns me on. Um, and there's these, you know, naughty laughs we do. So mm-hmm. when you know, you know. <laughs> so yes, that's my answer. that's my final answer. <laughs> if you had to describe our love using three words, what would it be? Finally, a deep one. Sure. Three words. Three words to describe our love. Yeah. One. Love. Hmm. Does that count? It does. Okay. Forever. Mm. And everlasting. But forever and everlasting is the same word, my baby. Okay. If you want to be technical, then um, I don't know what the last one would be. I don't know. I, oh, you want to answer? No. Nope. Sweet. <laughs> answer. That really describes our love, our unique love. Um, and just honor. Hmm. 
that we love forever and honor. Mm, okay. Oh, this is my last one. Mm -hmm. It's a bit spicy. Wow! <laughs> Did you know this question is you said spicy? Ooh, Lord! Can Your I... kids, Lord! <laughs> Can I read the question? Yes, you may. Are you happy with the intimacy we share? I don't think happy is a word to describe it. <laughs> I think we can find much more descriptive, better words than happy. I am ecstatic about it, maybe. Yes! <laughs> Dear y'all, as I'm writing this letter, I am feeling nervous, don't know why. A little shaky. This pen is just shaking, this paper that I'm holding. Um, I don't know, it's been a while since I've actually put pen to paper. As I mentioned earlier this week, in one of the photos that we posted while we were in Greece, both of us in a telephone booth really took me back to the very night that we met. Looking into your eyes that very night, I must say, wow, it's that same look that I see when I look into your eyes today and every other day. The love that we now share is beyond just the two of us. It's a love that we share with Fez, our little bundle of joy, <laughs> bundle of energy. <laughs> and someone at such a young age has showed so much love and shows others so much love that it just amazes both of us, that we are actually raising someone who's kept qualities from the two of us that are just amazing. Cakes, I'm truly grateful each day that I wake up next to you, knowing that I married my best friend. Someone that I prayed for, that one day, I would love them to be my wife and the person that I spend the rest of my life with. We're growing each day together, getting to know one another more and loving each other more each and every day. I'm so glad that you made the decision to choose me. Yeah, I know that people might think that it's a guy who chooses, but it's definitely the wife who chooses. And I pray that you will always choose me, love. Through the great times, through the bad times, please always choose me. You are an amazing best friend, a wife and a mother to our son. I cannot wait to see how much more closer over the years that we can get together and to see our family grow. I cannot wait for many more beautiful memories that we can share together. I love you dearly, Cakes, and I will always show you in action, not just in words. <laughs> Too, okay. <laughs> my love, Boo Boo Kiki, Cakes, and my baby daddy. <laughs> I don't think I tell you this enough. I love you and I appreciate you. God knew your heart was perfect for me when He made you. He packed all the patience, resilience, and strength you needed to have. For me. <laughs> he filled your heart with compassion and loving kindness so that you could pour it out on me, on Fares, and the rest of our family. He gifted you with the utmost wisdom so that when we confide in you, we may find godly guidance and counsel. I love the way you love with your heart, your might, and mind. You love beyond emotions and you love unconditionally. Your love withholds nothing, absolutely nothing. 
Your love keeps no record of my wrongs. <laughs> None of them. It forgives and it constantly forgives, countlessly. I still smile at the thought of you <laughs> every single time. When I talk about you, my face lights up <laughs> because my heart cannot contain all the love I have for you. I thank God always for allowing my eyes to lock eyes with your eyes and for allowing my heart to fall head over heels <laughs> over your precious and beautiful heart. I'm still crazy about you, baby, and I doubt it will ever stop. I pray that God will bless us and bless our love with many more decades to grow together and to love each other more and more each day. I love you. <laughs> Woo! Somebody get this room just for us. <laughs> <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching defining love from me and Loazi. it is goodbye don't forget to subscribe to y'all's channel and defining love it's absolutely free and we love you so so much Mwah.